Hello and welcome to another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos, a D and D podcast set in the world of fear lore. Uh, how is everyone this this week? Cruising. Yeah. Uh, We're surviving. <laughs> I did a very passive thumbs up for <laughs> those of you who aren't tuned into the video feed. Uh, <laughs> um, so, any plugs? Yes, I have one. Um, I would like to thank Tentacle Spine for these cool new dice for Birdie, which are horrible, awesome, gross, giant pink and purple tentacle dice for a D10 and a D4. And also this really awesome uh, D20, which is like Roman numerals, which I am not actually really fast at doing, but it's the same speed of calculation as me doing regular math. So it's pretty <laughs> awesome. But yeah, they actually like um, made like the the tentacle dice specifically like with Bertie's color scheme and everything. They're prototypes. Um, you can go and check out their work. They're an Australian uh, creative designer, design team at this stage, I think. Um, you can check them out at tentaclespine.com. They make like lots of really cool resin, like badges, horns. And yeah, um, like so many cool creative things. And they listen to the podcast. So thank yeah. you for listening to us and sending me some cool dice yeah. for Bernie. Hopefully they'll roll better than they normally do. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah. You I should think, go check them out. I think we technically have bouncy. to say not sponsored, but Laura did receive those yeah. dice for free. We're not sponsored. They just sent me them as a, as a gift, which was nice. Yeah. So, yeah, just I just want to find out. For the sake out, of transparency. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been paid to do it. I just love them, yeah. and it was really nice. So, yeah. Now, if you are just listening to the audio feed, um, hopefully you'll have already oh, yeah. seen pictures of these dice up on our Instagram. Yeah. So, they're probably um, there already. If you haven't already seen them up on our Instagram, um why aren't you following our Instagram? Yeah, Why please do it. But yeah. Sure even Get on I am, that. And I don't even use Instagram. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But yeah. I do have a minor plug also. Yes, um, yes. Happy testosterone day to me, potentially part take 50 or whatever. <laughs> uh, hey. By the time this comes out, we'll see. Time will tell. Follow me on Twitter. You'll find out. <laughs> I'll have a mild mental breakdown. If not, it's fine. <laughs> but if you already follow me on Twitter, you're used to that. <laughs> and for me, um, I'm just having like a, one of those really weird days where water tastes good. Like usually water tastes like water, but right now water tastes good. And if you are not drinking water at the moment, or you're looking for an excuse to drink anything else but water, just drink some water. It's great. Just do it. Stay hydrated, people. Thank you for listening. I also have a plug. Um, on Jake's behalf, if you're tuned into the video feed and you like his shirt, Adapt Apparel. Yes. Um, One of our friends runs it mm. and their brand is really cool and supports a lot of different mental health things. So get on that shit. Mm. That's it's awesome. great. It's That's really comfy. Orders show up within two days after ordering. In it's Australia. Yeah. In, in <laughs> Australia. Australia. Well, I mean, like, and at yeah. this point, also, like, subject that, to postage. That, yeah. yeah. Su subject to, to borders. Um, Jake is a personal friend of this person, um, as am I. So there is a good yeah. chance that he probably put, like, express post on the orders and might not for you regular folk. That's so, fair. Um, yeah. That's very charitable. Like, Birdie oh. would never do that. No, my, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't my, have my any mates. So, yeah. My mum got one. Uh, pretty much straight away as well. So, yeah. awesome. Oh, there you go. Okay. Fast uh, postage. Uh, <laughs> my my plug mostly is uh, that I was involved. They're probably three episodes in at this point. Um, three or four episodes in. Uh, there's a team of actors doing a show called uh, Quarantine. Quarantine. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, it's like a sort of sitcom, uh, about students dealing with, uh, with, uh, online Zorthram education, Tathara. uh, yeah, online education in the age of Zorthram Tathara, uh, <laughs> and his, uh, his planar, uh, destruction. And I, uh, I was approached to compose the theme for it, and so you can, you can hear my rendition of it at towards the start of each episode yeah, that's awesome uh, and why are you making music for anything else other than our show darby come on <laughs> traitor 
Trade up. Yeah. So please support all these cool businesses and like in, in yes. enterprises and everything. There's some really cool like yeah local people that are working yes. on stuff. Um, yeah. Also, I think next week's episode will coincide with the week of my birthday. Oh. Uh, I so Dobby's gonna kill us all off. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't know if there'll be anything special in the episode itself. I don't know if we'll do something special during that week subsequently. Yeah, we might do something special for the Let's day. Let's be real. We it's probably be dragons. won't even be dressed yeah, any differently. it's dragons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Not not for the episode, uh, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, but anyway, without further ado... Uh, as I now have a switch for it, let's jump right into another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. So, where we last left off, the party spent some time in the city of Ketathil, um, and, uh, did a bit of exploring, uh, found, found some, found some stuff worth purchasing, and ran into, uh, a, a bard who happened to be a hero from, uh, a recent calamity. Uh, and they were invited to uh, to go to uh, said bard's keep. Um, subsequently, uh, subsequently they uh, they went, but Bertie uh, sectioned off from the group quickly uh, to to run a little side errand. Worried about Caius, he uh, tried to get in contact with him after being told that. He, he was uh, hunting the person who killed his father. And after not receiving any sort of response, Bertie reached out to whatever divine powers he could, initially Thethis, and then when that seemingly yielded no results, Zorthram Tathara, uh, in hopes of, uh, of giving some boost or boon of some kind to Caius in his moment of need. Subsequently, uh, Bertie found himself incredibly exhausted uh, and drained of almost all of his uh, physical and magical energy. And that is where we uh, pick things back up. Whoops. So, Bertie, mm -hmm. you, uh, you didn't quite collapse in the, well, you collapsed in the alleyway. You didn't quite pass out. You're mm -hmm. barely holding on to consciousness. Uh, what, what are you doing? Um, jeez, okay. So I guess, like, uh, Bertie's just heard from Caius, I mean that he's alive, so in theory all of that probably worked. Um, but yeah, and he like, uh, I imagine he's probably on his knees at this stage on the, the floor, and um, he's he keeps trying to like uh, get out more of his energy to try and like cast another sending, but obviously it's not working. Um, and. He just, yeah, it feels incredibly uh, tired and, oh, well. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, with 
I, I don't, not even knowing if that's going to work, I suppose. And so he, give, he sort of tries to get up and he's that tired, I suppose, it's even a struggle. And he uh, tries to fling out his voice, uh, well, again, in his head rather than out of his mouth. Um, he tries to fling out his voice to Newman, um, I think. Um, I think it's a 30, <laughs> a 30 meter radius, I think, or something. So I don't know how far these guys have gotten already, but he will try and it'll just be, hey, uh, could you guys circle back a bit? So is this- Not feeling too good. Is this with thaumaturgy, uh, message? It's, um, he has a, it's a ability he has. I think yeah, like, I remember oh, in yes, multiple your, circumstances, um, you can speak in your mind. Yeah. yeah. I I know the one. By the way, you could yeah. at least knock first. Like, <laughs> that's uh, fine. I'm pretty sure like the specification of yeah, it is that yeah. they can tell who it is. Awakened mind, yeah. thirty feet. So about yeah, awakened mind. Meters. So <sighs> he's probably walked that far. I don't know. They're probably already that already um, gone. Hmm. Yeah, because it only takes about six feet, six seconds for them to walk that far. So he's out of range. Oh well, that's fine then. Where he's like, right, cool. That's fine. And I guess he just, um, uh, yeah. Gathers his stuff for himself and just kind of like drags himself so he can have his back against the alleyway wall and just, uh, his knees to his chest just like slumps down and just, I don't know. He's very tired. Okay. That's all I can do. Alright. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Anya and Newman. Well, yes. uh, Bertie said they'd meet us there. Yeah, yeah there's no it. reason for us uh, to be no. suspicious. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Bertie. What's happening? Oh, yeah, Happen isn't a bird anymore. No. Happen's <laughs> a cat. Yeah. That's okay. Well, we skid out all around to, uh, I guess, yeah. um, the house in which we were told to go to where Jarl resides. Beautiful, talented, amazing <laughs> no man. Plays quite the melody on the flute. Mm. Sorry, that was an Eddie response. That wasn't an Anya response. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, so you make your way to the, uh, the keep of the Fellowship of Hallowind, and, um, it's, it's, it's a large but modest affair, um, it has a flag out front with, a kind of blue, white, and gold, um, shield, uh, emblem at front of it, um, and, uh, yeah, and um, what what is what is passive perceptions? What what are passive perceptions? What's your passive perception, Newman? It's not great, is it? Well, my perception is eight. Uh, passive perception is eighteen. No. How is your? Yes. Do I also yeah, need to make a perception roll? Uh, also, no, it's sorry just for passive the brief pause for any. Um, visual listeners my cat knocked over my entire kitchen <laughs> uh, just the passive perception 18 18 yeah i was trying to find Versus... it on this digital sheet here and yeah. 23. i found it 23 um anya you would probably see there's there is a tower that's there is a bit of a watchtower um at uh along the wall of the of the um of the keep and you see this this uh brightly colored uh humanoid figure uh within it you can't m make out too many details but yeah brightly colored humanoid figure um Anya sort of looks up and she calls out to this being and she's like, uh, hello up there. Um, are you a friend of, uh, Je-El's? 
Da, ja, al. It, it's. I think he said Jal. Zat, are you a friend of Zat? Z yes, Zat. <laughs> <laughs> um. You you notice there seems to be some sort of acknowledgement of the fact that you've spoken to them, um, but they don't respond back. Perhaps oh, they don't know that, who we are. That's <laughs> Let, me. Let me. <laughs> uh, who, where are we speaking to, by the way? And like he's like pointing around in like every direction. In the tower. That is the... Ah, right. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, name is uh, Newman Mills. I'm sort of a big deal around here at the moment. Uh, happened to run into Joe earlier and he's invited us around to have a bit of a look around. So just wondering if we could come in or at the very least... If he's not here, find out when he's coming back. Uh, because um, I wouldn't say we're on the loosest schedule in the world, but yeah, we've got a little bit of time. But not all the time in the world, if you know what I mean. Um, you, you see the figure uh, leap from the, the tower and fly, fly down. Um, within within the bounds of the of the uh, fortress, um, they have hopped down, so maybe they are uh, ringing the welcome party. I don't know. We can only hope. Uh, Newman uses his, the skill of his ears to hear if there are footsteps. <laughs> The skill of his ears. You're an idiot. Okay, roll, roll, me a, roll me a perception check. Sure. Oh no. 16. It's not too bad. 16. Um, you want me to also roll a perception? I mean, you can if you want. I just want to know if the steps are coming further, coming closer, or whether there's footsteps at all. 25. 25. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, Anya, you, you, uh, just make out the sound of what seems to be, or initially just, it becomes a bit more obvious as it, appro as it approaches, but the sound of two, um, uh, heavily, seemingly heavily armoured figures approaching the front of, of the keep. Well, either we are getting a warm welcome from someone with very heavy armor, or security has been called. <laughs> well, what are they going to do? Kick us out from not coming in at all? So, I'm guessing it's I assume they would probably just uh, turn us away. Yeah. But likely. to be honest, as far as I'm aware, most heavily armored people we meet are nice people. So far, anyways. There's been a few. I remember we specifically ran across some heavy armor with no one in it, and that was not friendly. But other than that, pretty much everyone else has been friendly in heavy armor. Um, I feel like that's wrong, but I cannot <laughs> recall enough instances of, um... Look, basically I don't pay much attention to the people that we meet. Uh, if they are... Uh... Unless they have their own autonomous voice that doesn't sound like uh, just different variations of the same voice done by, like, maybe the same guy over and over, you know? So, I feel like... okay, Anya, you're sort of feeling a little bit dazed. You're looking into space at the moment. I cannot... Uh... Like, these contact lenses, they are what see, not me. <laughs> I... The focus, my eyeballs don't focus, Newman. That is, uh, this you know. Yeah, yeah, and the uh, the lenses are replicating it exactly how your lenses would if they were functioning. I don't think you know how contact lenses work. I don't think you know how magical contact lenses work. I made them, I would know. Would you? <laughs> yes. Are the guards here yet, Darby? <laughs> uh, 
Yes. So at that, this point, you see uh, two figures emerge, um, both both in quite uh, ornate armor. Um, one one uh, male figure, human. Um, I believe it's brown hair. Uh, the armor is uh, white, um, with with gold accents and the hint the engraving of uh a, a white rose uh uh designed into the filigree um the the woman is a uh, an azamar um who's not not quite as uh finely detailed in the armor but uh def- definitely ornate definitely magical armor um uh, kind kind of a golden brown sheen to the skin of the Azamar, um, probably a, a medium, uh, like darker end of fair uh, tone on the on the human. Um, and uh, who do we have here? The the human speaks. I know you. Oh my goodness! Uh, what? You are, you are. Uh, oh no! Romy, Romy you are Beldvin and uh, Gizani. Yes, we fought together at the great battle. You, you were at the battle. Yes, it's how I lost my eyes, and also um, the person who I held most dear to me. You know, just uh. Big battle things, you know? That is, um... Wow. Um, no, actually, that makes sense. Uh, I suppose Je- Je'el uh, was also there. So he works with you? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely a lot back then. Uh, we He doesn't do too much of the... Uh, well, we don't do too much overlapping these days, but, uh... Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, he... he seems a bit, um, particular, but, uh... You get used to him. Newman! Wow, it is hard, uh... Not calling Jake Joel now that Joel is back here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Newman uh, seemed very taken by him, and he did invite us to... Come say hello, I guess. He absolutely did. He absolutely did. And uh, what a talented man. He was playing the flute and he was doing like a little beatbox as well. It was very rhythmic. It was quite nice, actually. And he just did it on the fly out of nowhere. It made for quite the show, actually. It was very nice. Uh, we had a bit of a chat afterwards. And um, yeah, here we are. Yeah, he, d- he did send a message to say uh, he was expecting company. Um, he's We've not- got quite back uh, yet that's but. okay um company includes us a cat and one other as well another elf okay no. they're just yes, doing was, was the other elf at the battle no um so neither was um newman newman is uh from I'm quite young. um yes he's a baby <laughs> He's just a baby. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know uh, the ages of um, of Tabaxi. Yes, he is quite young uh, in comparison to well, most creatures. <laughs> uh, but um, yes, no, it was just me. But I am traveling with them, and uh, both Newman and Bertie, our other friend, have. Um, well, none of us have died yet, so well, that's there's good. that. Yeah, it's always a plus, you know? Mm. You never really know how it's going to go out there on the battlefield, no. as you would know. Mm. Had to bring uh, bring people back once or twice myself. Uh, oh, I can imagine. Within the uh, fellowship, you are quite renowned. You're a pretty Reputation does precede you. Yes. Uh, we, we've actually got a few of us here at the moment. Um, 
you would have you would have seen us from the tower. Oh, is that um, is that who that was? I did um, I did call out. <laughs> yeah, He's... he didn't say much. He doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't say much, or he just doesn't say. Oh, he's, he says he just doesn't say much. Ah, I can respect that. <laughs> yeah, I saw him jump from the tower. I was a little bit worried, but I, I didn't really hear a splash. So I'm sure he's... Ah, that'd do it. That'd mm. do it. Mm. Yes, the bird folk. He was also at the battle, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, what what did you see at the battle? Because we we didn't see too much of the battle itself. We we rushed forward into the into the tower. Well, there was a lot of fighting. Um, I can imagine. We fought hordes of undead. Um, I was fighting alongside a dear friend of mine, and then. I saw a bolt of stray magic from some form of magic caster, and then I saw nothing else of the battle. I fought. I continued to fight, I think. But I did not see anything else. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to hear. Oh, it is fine. Uh, my friend has made um, me uh, contact lenses, oh, I yeah. guess. Newman sort of like crosses his arm and like slaps his back against a wall that he thought was there, but actually it was a little bit to the right. And so he sort of just like stumbles back a bit and then just crosses his arms <laughs> again as if it never happened. <laughs> so uh, your other friend, were they at the battle too? No. Wait, which friend? The one that's coming. Oh, no. No, but the, um, but he is a salesman. Okay. Okay. Did, um, did, was Hafrin at the battle, or? I actually haven't asked too much about that, because it seems Newman. to have traumatic memories about you. Newman. Oh, oh, for you. Yeah. Newman. You are aware that I got Hafrin after the battle. Oh, yeah, no, that's true, that's true. Yep, don't mind me. This is all very overwhelming at the moment. It is very interesting that you would bring this up in front of a paladin and an Adamir. Would you like to meet my cat, Hafrin? There is nothing untowards about him. Roll me a deception check. <laughs> I already introduced him carefully. Goddamn. 17. <laughs> I mean, Beldovin doesn't have a great insight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, Gizani, what about Gizani? Though, uh, she, she has a great one. I rolled poorly, but she still manages to match your 17. So she, she kind of eyes you suspiciously. But uh, Beldovin, like, is, is nonplussed by it all. Um, oh, yeah. Sure. So... Where is, where is the little fella? Oh, he's on my shoulder. Oh, so he is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I pet him? Sure, I guess that is up to Hafrin. Hafrin, do you mind him petting you? Uh, Haf Hafrin projects an emotion of like, okay, fine. Okay, uh, I think he is fine with it. And then Beldovin reaches over and um, and starts uh, uh, petting. <laughs> I've just noticed where the music's cut to as, <laughs> as we start this, and and um, yeah, so he goes goes over to Pat, and and Hafrin starts doing that kind of batting that cats do, <laughs> like that <laughs> playful batting that cats yeah. do. Um, oh, oh, he's he a feisty you. one. He likes you. Uh, I'd say that's uncommon, but he likes a lot more people than any of us would expect, actually. Hmm. Anyway. Um, so, actually, 
it has been a little while. Do you, what was Birdie doing, Anya? I, he was going to um, make contact with uh, Caius, I believe. Oh, okay. Caius is another friend of ours. Um... Actually, uh... Doesn't Birdie usually just do that with us around? Oh, ooh. No, he is very secretive, of which you are very aware. <laughs> yes, yes, but uh, um, usually it's, uh, it wouldn't be gone for this long. Ooh. Actually, he has been gone for longer uh, before, but if you are that concerned, um, Mr. Beltevin, sir, do you... Um, is it possible that someone within your uh, tower knows this spell sending or message or whatever it is you wizards do? Uh, I got a thing. Okay. Um, oh, oddly enough, uh, not really. Um, yeah, not even not even a message. Um, With Joel, he seemed to be of the magicking. Nope. <laughs> you don't have anyone under your employ that would know message. No, we don't. We don't really have all that many magic users outside of the fellowship themselves, and it does feel weird now that you mention it that like. None of us had access to any sort of communicative magic. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, like, I can just send Zoot Suit out. Zoot Suit? Uh, zoot suit. Oh, right. Um, Newman brings out Zoot Suit, um, his little drone companion. Um, and it, I guess it's going to be reconnaissance mode, which can relay coordinates or relay directions back to Newman. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, this is Zoot Suit. He's um he's like one of my little drone buddies. Uh, magically enhanced, uh, good pal of mine. Uh, yeah, and so uh, he just helps me out every now and then. Uh, okay. So I'm thinking maybe I'll send him out into the city and see if we can find him. Um, but perhaps is does your Arakoka friend would they like to maybe do a cash job by any chance or just a favour for a friend? Yeah, I might ask him to have a look. Any any discernible features? Um, well, very, very flamboyant purple. Purple cloak. Um, very, very fashionable, I will admit. Uh, very uh, glamorous face as well. And usually, yeah, lots of petals as well. Um, it won't be many, and they'll be probably be hard to see from above, but yeah, so... He has a short pink eladrin. Okay. Oh. Usually has a giant staff on their back. He might be with Mulesy. Our mule and cart. Uh, the cart okay. is no, very he's, bright. I believe Mulesy's back where we came from, actually, because we, we didn't want to spend the time getting him through. Um... Yeah, so he wouldn't be with the with the donkey, but yeah, it, it should be around about I don't know. It was like around the port area, the the place where they make port at least. Uh, there's a bakery <laughs> and a few shops as well. So uh, right. it was around about that area. Surely you guys might know that area. Really good stuff, by the way. Would recommend. Yeah. Um, oh, we've gotten a bottle from time to time, special occasions and all that. Um, yeah, I'll I'll go ask him. Yeah. And. Um, Maybe check the alleyways as well, because uh, last we checked in, they had a few bottles of port on them as well. So maybe they're drinking them and perhaps maybe passed out in a gutter or something like that. <laughs> Noted. Um, and... Uh, and with that, um, so they lead you in... Um, and uh, Beldovan uh, separates off to find us, at, um, and Jazane leads you into uh, this kind of reception area, and uh, and le leaves you to um, the the staff, basically. Uh, also, Zoot Zoot is out flying around as far as he can within his range, just to see if we can find him as well. 
All right. Uh, can you get get? Can you have Zoot Zoot roll an investigation check? Sure. So just to double check, this is it's lookout mode. Sorry. Yep. Um, so investigative check. That's a natural one. Natural. <laughs> Which is a thirteen. All right. Um, let's have us roll an investigation check. Uh, not not his strong suit. Yeah. This is this is how the, no, this is how the party ends. Up <laughs> Ironically, <laughs> for a blood hunter. <laughs> that is a, that is a two. Oh. Plus rest in peace, plus birdie. One. Um, that is a three. I mean, he's missed. not gonna he's not gonna die. He's just gonna fall unconscious in the gutter, possibly, unless he makes his own way to the keep. All right, so. <laughs> Uh, but speaking of which, let's, let's, let's see how Bertie is going. <laughs> Bertie, you're, you're, you're in the alleyway. You're all, you're all exhausted. You can move. You can move if you so desire. Yeah, but he's, he's it's... like, he's taken a lot of hit points. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the big problem is too, but he doesn't actually know where you guys went. Um, so that's fun. Um, I mean, yeah. you could ask I don't know around. what you're expecting me to do, Darby. Yeah. I mean, you could ask around for the, um, the location of the, the fort of the Fellowship of Halloween. Um, yeah. Because you know, you know that is where they were going. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Okay, I guess. Or, yeah. or you could do whatever the hell you wanted, because it's D and D. Yep. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. Yep. Um. I don't know. I guess. Um. After resting for a bit, I suppose Buddy will slowly kind of try to sort of gather his stuff up. And then try again to um to pulse out some magic out of his wrist, which nothing happens, of course. Um, yeah, and I don't now, know. Now you he do... will slowly get up yeah. and just start having a look around. Yeah. You do have yeah. <laughs> some. You do have some spell slots. It's just your cleric spell slots, though. Yeah, they can't do anything, Darby. <laughs> Yeah, right. so yeah. Um you, you yeah, Buddy. Yeah, well Buddy is going to um yeah, just be like great, okay. Cool, alright. It's up to me again. <laughs> just me on my own. Alright, let's um let's find somewhere to rest. Well, he's gonna slowly move on. Right. I don't know what you want me to do, Darby. No, no, <laughs> Back to the I, it, party crew. It, it, Sorry. It's a little belated. It's a little belated, but I would like to use my charge of luck on my luck blade to re-roll that investigation check. Okay. Because I very much oh. disliked it, and it says here I can throw another roll if I dislike it, and I very much dislike yeah. it. Yeah. Use. Use. All right. Zoot zoot! Don't let me down. That is a fifteen, and that is twenty-seven. Okay, so as you kind of drag yourself out of the alley, Bertie, mm. you see this familiar, uh, whirring mechanical creature, uh, that you recognize as, uh, Newman's drone, Zoot Zoot. Oh, cool! Hello there! Is Newman nearby? Um... I guess it pulses its, its winding twice. Yeah. You just w whether or not you know what that means is up to you. I oh. have no idea what that means. Cool. Uh, do you know where they went? <laughs> it. Uh, I guess it just slowly starts flying away from you, but then comes back, and then slowly flies away from you, and then comes back. Okay, uh, yep, bear with me. And, um, but he kind of, like, pulls the moon stuff off his back and then just uses it like a crutch, I guess, and 
slowly makes his way after it because he has a really slow walk speed now as well. Excellent. Um, That's all. How far away is Zutu at the moment? Uh, from from the from the cave. From, from Newman. From yes. Newman. Um. Because this depends on whether or not Zutu can do something. Is this is this the whole uh? Is Tele- this the hundred? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if it's within a certain range. What is the range on that? Five hundred feet. Five five hundred. You're probably just within that. All right. So Newman is alerted. Of I guess yeah. It just says it. I'm warned telepathically of any creature it sees approach. And if I gave it a specific <laughs> target, such as Birdie, then I guess I know that Birdie is now approaching. <laughs> yeah. Who? Cool. So All Newman right. is now aware. And um, Zootzoot is going to slowly bring you back to the keep as well. Uh, but if we could cut back to... It's slow, yeah. You guys probably cut yeah. back. Because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> His speed is halved and he's yeah. already much slower than you two because he's little and not fit. All right. Okay, so back back at the keep, uh, yeah, Anya and Newman, you are you are kind of awaiting uh, your host. Um, um. Oh, this is um interesting. Uh, actually, um, hmm. Hmm. I found Birdie. Uh, why are you saying it like that? Well, Zoot Zoot found Birdie. Um, but they're walking very slow. Like, very slow. Do you think that Birdie does not want to see us? That is quite common for him. Uh, they're walking towards us. A very long way away, but... I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time we split up from Birdie, Birdie usually gets attacked. Do you reckon there could have been maybe an assassin or something? And now they're like, just survived the fight and are bleeding on their way here to try and ask for help or something ridiculous like that. I say it's ridiculous, but it literally happened already. Well, so. while I do think that maybe you are being paranoid, I also think that we are on holiday and we have a lot of time <laughs> to do literally everything including uh talking to jal i guess so um we can meet up with verti if you want uh yeah all right let's go do that is um are any of the other guests around or are we in the room by ourselves just waiting um because if so hilarious do they have like just a staff <laughs> member around yeah there's, there's staff kind of flitting in and out um and... Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, yes? Uh, can you please let Beldven and Jezani know that um, we are terribly sorry. We are going to collect our friend and we will be back um, soon. I will uh, say soon. And yeah. don't forget to tell your friend, I think it was us, uh, we've already got him. So, uh, yeah, don't we, need to worry about that anymore. We will give them those updates, so. All right, perfect. Um, Newman sort of just, like, grabs yeah. your hand, on your, and sort of bolts out the door because he's a little worried. And also, on the way out as well, he slams his hand on the door. Uh, the main door, I guess, the gate that they open, and it just says, be back in five, um, <laughs> in scrolling text, <laughs> as he puts a artificer infusion on the door. <laughs> Did you just and... skater tag their door? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's like, it, it's functional and purposeful. Someone would call, would call it art. <laughs> oh, Newman. And now we make our way back to, uh, back to Birdie. Um, I'd like to imagine that because of Newman's height and speed, that Anya is literally not touching the ground right now. <laughs> Anya is just as fast, if not faster than you. Uh, I use feline agility. <laughs> Newman is fast and terrifying. That's fair. Um, I will say, I suppose, while Birdie is sort of hobbling back, um, 
He's also using as much of his natural sort of fey touched um, Eladra and Glamour as possible to look very normal and great and fine. Everything's cool, awesome, but he looks like over the top kind of like like game show host kind of like fake um, cheery and glittery and stuff. So that's what you'll see when you eventually see him again. All right. Um, yeah, he, just, so, he just laid it on his uh, yeah. the So who do, we, who do we see first? Do we see Joel or Bertie? Because uh, <laughs> Joel's still out and about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. Uh, you, you, would, you would see Bertie first. Like, okay. He's not that far away from you. Mate, <laughs> it probably takes about... Uh, less. It's less than a minute. Like, because you're both going in the same direction. Like, you're both going towards mm-hmm. each other. Yeah. Um... And yeah, so you you see him hobbling along, following the. Uh... The second his little like red ready pink eyes um will see the terrifying, <laughs> bolting blur that is Newman, he kind of like straightens himself up and like he's like, oh yeah, just casually leaning on the staff, great, awesome, and his little ears prick up as well when he sees you running, I suppose. Um, so Newman is just going to like stop in front of you. Dust sort of does go everywhere. It's a very <laughs> abrupt stop. A- and then like he's like got his hands on his knees, a little bit puffed as well. And he's like, eh. "Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Was, did you get attacked by an assassin? Uh, are you are you are you drunk? Are you did that? Oh god, did something from the bakery make you sick? Did we eat uh, the same thing?" I'm feeling Bertie, fine. I was, um, I was kind of telling him he was being silly, but you really don't look okay. What happened? I look great. What are you talking about? And like, while he's doing that, he kind of like smooths his hands over his hair, like puts it back into place and everything. And oh, like, yeah, no, awesome. And you both notice like the the usually pink petals that uh, that emanate during Bertie's moments of stress. Uh, yeah. this like this desaturated gray uh, uh, you know same difference Bertolt, you're no longer pink i am <laughs> uh that's uh yeah should should we go somewhere so that you can um yeah i got to go take ha- composure yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta, I gotta have a rest. Kind of my everything hurts right now. Yeah, probably the drink. <laughs> you look um as shiny as ever and spectacular yeah. as always. That's great. But also, like you could use a gallon of wine and a nap. Not that, that is you very true like too. That at all times, but um, <laughs> I'm well... trying to say this in the way that is. I'm on holidays. I'm working on myself. Bertie, she kind of, she looks really uncomfortable for a second and really (laughs) awkward and she's like, never mind, I'm going to find the hotel. Uh, Newman is the uh, kind words one. Newman, (laughs) look after Bertie. Um go in this direction, I will find a tavern that is uh, well, an inn that is suitable. And that's what he does. Yeah, (laughs) I don't know why you guys are bothering so much, just yeah, just uh, a little bit under the weather, that's all. (laughs) Well, I mean, obviously you found Zoot Zoot, which is really good, but I don't know, you were just walking a little slow for usual use. I thought perhaps something was wrong. I thought it could be any number of things, but uh, none of them very good. Or that I could come up with anyways. It's me! (laughs) Uh, yeah, no, um, it's cool. You guys got here super fast. (laughs) Uh, Uh, like I said, I was worried. We did actually have a few other people looking for you, but, uh, just because, just because it had been a bit and we were waiting for you at the, uh, at the keep over there, but um, uh-huh. yeah, good old trusty Zoot Zoot never lets me down. They're certainly excellent. 
Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I, uh, yeah, I got a bit sidetracked, but it's all cool. Um, yeah. Hey, you're definitely okay? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, it's nothing to worry about. I just need to sleep for like three weeks, probably, or like just drink my way through all those expensive gifts that Anya kind of nicely bought me. <laughs> so it's all good. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just need to, uh, just need to rest. That's all. Uh, but yeah, we can do that at the castle place thing that you guys are going to. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I believe. I believe Anya's looking for an inn at the moment, perhaps. Did you want to just go straight there if you don't want to deal with people, or...? Well, I wouldn't want to, like, interrupt your little visit. Um, I, I definitely would like to rest, but, like, uh, I wouldn't want to interrupt the visit you guys have been doing, so, like, it's all fine. I'm just, uh... Well, uh, actually... As rightly as I normally am. <laughs> now that I think of it, I believe there was a... There was a paladin at the keep, actually. Uh, perhaps, maybe they might be able to help you with how tired you are, like a restoration or something. Yeah, oh, maybe. Spells. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look, yeah. Sorry, sorry about it. I made you guys worry. That's uh, <laughs> real sweet of you. Um, yeah, that's all good. I, sorry. Yeah. That, that's all good. That's all good. Well, um, oh god, and Anya's gone. Uh, they'll probably come back. Uh, we'll wait here for a bit, and if they're not, I'll just leave a little message on this tile that we're currently standing on. Uh, <laughs> but we'll just wait a bit and see if they come back. Anya, like, she kind of rushes back and she's like, Well, um, that one had three beds. They were clean. It had three beds. Um, <laughs> And there was what I think might be alcohol there. We That's can always give it great. A try. I feel like you're probably not up for a long walk. Well, you're probably right. Uh, yeah, lots of lots of sleep, and lots of drinks. Sounds good to me. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are in the middle of something, though, please don't worry about that on my account. <laughs> I'll be yeah. It'll be good. I'll be fine. A actually, rest, that's all. Actually, um, okay. Can Newman recall if Lester Restoration can be used to Lester Restoration? Cure... Yeah, yeah, you heard me. Lester Restoration. Can that be used to perhaps treat tiredness or exhaustion? Uh, roll me uh, an Arcana check. Ooh, will do. So that's okay. That is a seventeen. Uh. 17, you're aware that lesser restoration cannot. Uh, greater restoration, however, can uh, remove one le level of exhaustion. Damn, only one. Ooh, yeah. Well, um, I was just speaking with Birdie now, actually. Um, I was hoping sort of my lesser restoration might be able to help Birdie f sort of perk up a little bit, but... Um, I, I'm possibly thinking that Paladin back at the keep might be able to. Do you reckon we should take Birdie for a visit, or do you reckon we should just go back to the tavern right now that you've booked out? I did not book it, and maybe a a, uh, a well-established place uh, that has staff on their books um, that is run by people who won a battle would be better than that uh, shithole. Let's go! <laughs> alright. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Birdie, are you alright walking or do you want like a piggyback or something? Uh, a piggyback would be great actually. Alright, Newman gives Birdie a piggyback. You know what? It's uncomfortable. At, 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 strength, at a strength of 16, I'm going to say yeah, you don't have to worry about. Very little. Newman's yeah. feet. It worked. <laughs> Right, Actually, very roll, roll me, roll me, roll me a strength check, but it's going to be a fairly easy DC. Oh, you're going to roll one. I happen. really don't want <laughs> to, but I sort of want to. <laughs> uh, okay, it's bad, but it's okay. <laughs> it's a ten. Ten. That that was the DC. Yeah. Like, oh, thank God, I rolled seven. Why would you eat that many pastries? Oh my God. <laughs> I rolled seven. Um, oh my uh, God. And. Yeah, so you managed to get him back to the keep. 
<laughs> and you actually get there at around about the same time as Jarl is uh, arriving. Oh, excellent. Oh, oh excellent. How, how have you been enjoying the city? Your friend there does not look good. Oh, that's yeah. rude. A little rude. <laughs> like, coming down to me, this is like super embarrassing now. Like even more than before. <laughs> yeah, look, you're not exactly a looker yourself, buddy. No, uh, no. I, I, I mean, I mean, in regards to health. Well, you're not exactly a looker yourself, buddy. Do you know any restoration spells? Uh, unfortunately. I sure. do it's not. I have. Sure. I have some. I have it's some. Mass heal, I think. I have some healing, but not so much in the way of. Uh, uh, not so much in the way of um, conditions. Wounds I can do. Uh, wounds I can do. Some diseases I can do. Uh, and I can. I can stop effects. Like magical effects from making people uh, blinded, blind. Birdie or very unceremoniously hops off but, the human's back. <laughs> like, like wriggles out of his um, can't little... can't really can't really do any sort of uh, pick me ups. That's cool. Um, that's fine. It's all human, good. You mean like dusts off, like not dust, but just like casually yeah. like brushes off his back when he brings his hand, his hands or paws back. Are they bloody? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. No, yeah, all right. no. Cool. Not bloody, yeah. Probably, probably uh, Newman would appreciate not having Bertie's heels, like, <laughs> um, in any vicinity of his back, though. So that's a bonus. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he sort of just dusts off his hand and he goes, What about that paladin bloke? Would he know something like, uh... Oh, we've already met everyone, by the way. Um, okay, cool. No. Oh. Greater Restoration. I believe that might just do the ticket for Birdie's tiredness here. They've had a pretty big day. A sleep's gonna be fine. Like, I, d- yeah. I don't know if um, I don't know if Bell would have it. Uh, and while, while you're doing yeah. this, Birdie's like, kind of just like slowly starts it's, to kneel down the ground. He's just like, I'll just sleep here. It'll be fine. It's in his wheelhouse, <laughs> but it's not something that he tends to to uh, use so he what doesn't... What about uh, Jezani? She... Uh... I believe... No one knows how to spells in this damn castle. <laughs> Jesus I... Christ. I... Boy, I boy, believe... can we do counter spell though? I believe she has... <laughs> I believe she has use of it through her uh, her staff. It's all good. I'll just have a nap right here. It'll be no, fine. Betty, it's dirty. That right. Uh, but come on, let's. Oh uh, well, uh, many people have said that before. Let's, let's... <laughs> uh, but seriously, I, I really just. He's getting delirious. Maybe we yeah, should. Let's, um, let's get let's go you inside. To... Do you have like a parlor room or something that we can tend to him That'd in? That'd be nice. Yeah, just, uh... yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the worst sleep. It'll be good. Yeah, let's let's get him into into here, and we'll get him into one of the guest uh, bedrooms. Um, Newman sort of like puts his hand on the door on the way in. He's the last one in, and as he huh? shuts the the front gate, he removes the <laughs> back in five minutes sign that he put up. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! That's great. I love that. Nice Alrighty. little trick there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were gone for a little bit, so I just wanted to let people know in case uh, in case the staff didn't get to them before they found out we were gone. I just think it's a little bit rude. To, leave pretty much 10 minutes after being invited somewhere, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I do it all the time. You were the one who asked to leave. Yeah, and I knew, I understood it was rude, but (laughs) friends come first, and he salutes. Good to know. Uh, always, always a good, uh, mantra. Alright, and, and he leads you through to one of the, uh, one of the guest bedrooms, and and Bertie, you are you are placed down on the bed. It's it's quite a nice bed. It's not lux like it's not super luxurious, but it's 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 more comfortable than like most basic tavern beds. Oh, that's nice. That's real good. Yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll just have a sleep. Nice bed. Yeah, real good. Thanks. Yeah, and I'll 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 go get Jizani. It's all that cool. Would be a snooze. 
Oh, Newman, Newman, could you like, could you like reach into my backpack? Newman reaches into your backpack. Okay, can you like get out like all the bottles that Anya bought me, please? He brings out, I believe it was six bottles of wine. <laughs> okay. Um, buddy, buddy, quickly before you do what I know you're going to. He's like, he's like doing grabby hands to Newman. Yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. What? Sorry. Yeah. You left to call Caius. Uh, is he okay? If this is how you are left. Uh, I, I was just doing errands. I didn't do anything, so it's fine. Nothing's really... Yeah, no, it's cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you, a mind reader? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, no. Um, yeah, it's all cool. I just, uh, yeah. Just Everything yes or no? Is he... Do we have to... Yeah, no, he's, he's cool. Yeah. Is there any oh, like, that we like, should if I be talk worried to him, about? I'm sure it'd be fine. No, 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 no. It's a uh, yeah. It's all, uh, it's all good. Newman teases the wine bottles, and then instead he takes a wine bottle away and like leans in real close. He's like, "So, uh, what you guys talk about, hey? Huh? Huh?" <laughs> 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 oh, uh, why are you? Uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, n nothing. It's, uh, yeah. No, nothing like that. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, yeah. Um... Anya, um, I'm gonna roll a, like, a dexterity. Anya's gonna snatch a bottle away from him, um, swat him gently, <laughs> and then, um, hand the bottle to Bertie. Can I say this attack coming? Evasion. <laughs> 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 what, what am I rolling again? Uh, it's probably an opposed dexterity check. 25. And Newman? Okay, let's find out. So this is just a flat dexterity check, not a save? Yeah, not a save. So what... How, how did yeah. you get 25, Anya? Uh... Oh, right. I'm just, just a flat check. Thing. I looked at save too. Um... Yeah. 21. 21. Still, it's still pretty good. Nine. Nine. Yeah. So you managed to. Snatch <laughs> yeah. So it she out grabs. She here. grabs the um, but one of the bottles of port, kind of, cuffs him up the back of the head with the other hand, and <laughs> like, without even looking away from him, passes the bottle to Birdie, and she's like, he's. Ah. Uh, just as well as he normally is. Uh, normal Bertie. Yes? Good. So That's we... right! <laughs> that Don't worry rude. about it. <laughs> I just did a... Oh, no. Um, dumb thing for... Yeah, it's... No. Don't worry about it. It's cool. Uh, and it's at this point that uh, Jarl re-enters with Jazane. Uh, so, so, um... And you notice this time that she's got this uh, ornate white uh, staff. Um, and okay. so, who who needs healing? <laughs> Anya and uh, Newman sort of like step aside, revealing this very very tired, what looks decrepit. I'd like to say, <laughs> <No>! <laughs> man with with a bottle in hand. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I believe you've got you've That's got your so glamour cruel. up. So the only the only yeah, hint fun. the only hint that something's wrong other than your kind of demeanor is the <laughs> the grey petals shedding everywhere. <laughs> Which for as far as she knows is probably normal. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Um I meant decrepit in the in the sense of like worn out. Yeah. Um <laughs> yeah. Alright. And she uh yeah, she expends. She yeah, she casts greater restoration, and your hit points uh, return. So you lose one level of exhaustion. So you, now on level three, and your hit points return back up to fifty nine. Yeah. So Bernie feels better. Yes. As far as he knows. Yeah. 59. Excellent. Um, roll, roll me a medicine check. That's a one. Yeah. You, you, you're, you're feeling much better. You're still, you're still quite exhausted, but like. Oh, cool. That's nice. 
Real, yeah, real it's most, sorry about all that. Mostly um, just a bit sluggish now, rather yeah. than... Yeah, just real tired. Like, this is super awkward having so many people around me. I mean, like, uh, but he, like, looks over other... <laughs> Especially yeah, when you're in a bed, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, that's uh, uh, no comment. <laughs> um, cool, this is like super awkward. Um, I just need to have a little nap, that's all, and some of this. He, he waves a little bottle around. Uh, yeah, you guys, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, thanks for the healing, that's great. I feel so much better. <laughs> wow, I'm like a new elf. <laughs> Do you Gentleman. mind awfully if we, uh, if our friend rests here while we, um, I don't know, get no, to we've, talk? We've got a, we've got a few, uh, few guest bedrooms. You guys can crash the night here. Awesome. I don't know. Did we want to stay at that tavern you were looking at, Anya? Or no, no, no that is us, fine. Or? That was, um, it was not great. That was desperate times, okay? We all talk about desperate times. We are here now. We are in this place now. We have been um, granted hospitality by J... J... Jael. Um, yes, that's what I said. And uh, <laughs> then uh, I think we should... It would be rude to deny, of course. It. Uh, yes. We will stay. All right. Uh, I'll. I guess I'll give you the grand tour. Please uh, and thank you. Uh, have fun, kids. But he does like a thumbs up at them, and then just kind of like rolls over and just um, like um. <laughs> bef before nestles more uh, into the bed. Before everyone leaves, Jun Zani will say, "I I think I can do this uh, once or twice more with the staff if you'd like." so good i just need a rest don't worry about me it's okay. fine okay but thanks again i really appreciate it um so no as they go out newman goes um <laughs> sleep tight don't let zathrum bite <laughs> uh, however you pronounce his name i never get it right but zathrum to or whatever his name is <laughs> but he just like <laughs> does like the full like just stares at, uh, 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 ha, 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 yeah, real funny. <laughs> yeah, cool. Have fun, kids. All right. So yeah, uh, Jal right. gives you guys the grand tour. Um, I I won't I won't go bit by bit, but like there is there are several bedrooms. So there's bedrooms for the the fellows like each member of the fellowship. Um, there's an arcane laboratory. Um, there's there's Within the arcane laboratory, there's there's a bookshelf that's pretty dusty. Um, everything else seems to get some use, but the book there is one bookshelf that is pretty dusty, uh, like it hasn't been touched in probably about ten years. Um, Only ten. At at least ten. I'm trying to remember how many years it has been. Uh, uh, I'm looking at all different numbers uh it's been 20 years since the battle if that's yeah um, da, 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 da. the age of the age the age of the age of the age this is only me making assumptions of whose section that could be never mind i don't even think he could read <laughs> uh, he shift? could he could copy he could copy out of books i believe uh, Who are you talking about? Crack wizard. So. <laughs> oh, I was also talking about crack wizard. <laughs> yeah. So hey, isn't, that, isn't that what he does? He like copies from a spell book into his spell book, and then something like that, yeah. or writes out spells from other books. Right. He had a billion and trillion thousand <laughs> million known spells. He spent all of his money on buying spells. He was books, literally the most powerful days. wizard in the world. <laughs> And then spent like years just writing them into yeah. his spell book. I, real I realized he's the reason why no one had communication spells because he would just ritual cast Rary's telepathic bond on everyone <laughs> so that you could just communicate that way. Um, just go. Don't have people min max characters and then like play them like super well. 
This was like the opposite of that. <laughs> but also, fantastic. but at the same time, like... He, Shout he, out to Loki. I know Lo- you probably yeah. don't listen, Lockie's but a crack pl- wizard was fantastic. <laughs> he still played him r- weirdly well in combat. It's just a lot of the time roles just didn't work in his favour. Crack wizard oh. never knew what was going on um, and neither did Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, session notes. What what is the year? The year is thirty. So it's been it's been ten years since Taladron. It's so there there might I thought be it was dusty. twenty years. We literally started this campaign off the basis of it being twenty years for Anya. <laughs> I've said it canonically several times. <laughs> Have I been lied to this entire time? <laughs> I'll I'll have I'll have to double check some stuff, but yeah, um, what whatever it's been, it's been ten to twenty years since it's been touched. <laughs> Spectacular. All right. Um, yeah. Just out of my own curiosity, it is Crack Wizards um, bookshelf, right? Yeah. 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 Um, there's there's a music room. There's uh. There's some some staff areas that you were shown to. There's there's a well equipped barracks, um, and uh, when when you're in the barracks, you do see like a uh, a fur bog um, who is unarmored and is holding a uh, a staff in one hand and a sword crackling with. Uh, with uh arcane energy in the other and you see him fighting this uh kind of spectral form um seem, seems almost like a training exercise of sorts in the approach um and, impressive uh, yeah oh yeah uh and Is, yeah. Did that thing You're, actually hurt him or yeah yeah oh damn uh, well, a little. Um, you know, I did something similar to that not too long ago, actually. Ah, but it was like real, like a giant metal robot scorpion with an electrical talon and all that jazz, you know. So yeah, I know what it's like. It's yeah, it's tricky, but uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, you are you are introduced to the Furbolg as uh, as Hemo, um, and. Yeah, uh, so eventually the, the tour finishes with, uh, well, the penultimate rooms you were shown are the guest quarters that you will be staying in, and then the final room is the dining quarters, um, where by that point, yes. uh, a meal has been served. Yes, 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 yes. Newman is hungry. What uh, do we have? Newman is still injured, by the way, I've just remembered. <laughs> You know who has not been injured this entire time? Uh, Anya. Anya. Anya's on vacation. <laughs> uh, no, your instead your wallet got injured. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Tis she chose for that. All right, yeah. She so... used to get injured. Actually, probably. Now that I think about it, <laughs> Newman is first at the table. All right. Like eagerly, like looking at everyone, gesturing, like, "Come on, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat." All right. Um, yeah, so it's, it's this nice, uh, kind of banquet, um, put on, um, and you get, you get the feeling that they don't do this off, like, often, but, like, whenever there's some sort of guests, they'll, they'll put it on, just from the way, from bits and pieces you pick up of the staff talking and... Um, the, the attitudes of everyone Stop. around the talk table. We haven't been fed in 12 years! <laughs> they, they uh, eat. Just <laughs> not something as elaborate. They don't, they don't make something as elaborate as a banquet. The staff are like, they never put on a dinner like this for us. What are we, common peasants? <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, Newman's going to do something. Um, he's he's actually he's a little bit uncomfortable actually. So what he's going to do is he's going to get out of the seat, 
and he's going to eject himself from the full plate clockwork armor. Oh no. He's then going to sit in the seat and he's going to give the armor the command to push in the seat for him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. It it does and it, it kinda stands uh stands to attention basically almost like a butler during yeah, and, the entire and... <laughs> Newman gestures exchange. towards the, the napkin on the table and then he like pats himself on the chest here and then the clockwork armor, I'm hoping. Glab grabs the napkin and like folds it into like the cusp of his little like uh, sash thing he usually wears across his chest. Yeah, it it does exactly that. Newman, does the armor have sentience? Uh, I don't believe so. No, it uh it just follows basic instructions. Um, I'm just basing that off what I've identified using it and from what that um. That, uh, that woman said earlier. The mother. Ooh. I can't actually quite remember what, what her real name was. Gosh, I'm bad at that today. But anyways, yeah. So she was mentioning, like, yeah, it's not sentient. Um, just follows basic instructions. Uh, Nora Inthchild. Nora. Yeah, Nora. That was her name, yeah. But yeah, no, definitely not sentient. It, it's coming in handy at the moment as well. Uh, yes, you do for... look quite ridiculous. <laughs> he gestures for a shoulder rub. Uh, it it starts it. It's not comfortable because it's it's <laughs> like it's gaunt like these metal gauntlets that yeah that aren't designed for like there's there's not really the right structure um, or really movement capability to give a comfortable uh shoulder rub or back rub um okay he, he sort of puts up his hand and he's just gonna gesture like uh, that and and it starts doing <laughs> that uh... cool, okay um, and then he starts eating dinner <laughs> all right <laughs> um, uh, so what are we eating uh, sorry, what are, so what is all this food? It's like I'm familiar with some of it, but but what about this? And I'm guessing what he's holding up is this it's like a triangle bit of what looks like pastry or dough with like sauce on top and he's pulled it from a circle uh a circular um object of that, but he's just pulled this triangle out of it. What is this? <laughs> Are you just describing cake? Pizza. Pizza. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is this is a uh, dish that they do uh, in uh, in Solven. It's uh, pizza. Oh, interesting, interesting. So is it like a? It's like a flat and savory cake, by the looks of it. Sort of. Um, it's it's like a. It's like a round bread. Yeah, that is the feeling I am getting. Yeah, anyway. it's it's like it's like a it's like a it's like a bready base with uh, yeah a sauce and then toppings. It's often quite simple traditionally, but you can have pretty much anything on it. Don't say that. Uh, that is a, a stupid thing to come out of your mouth right now. <laughs> I don't know why you would say such a terrible thing. Um, you will regret your words, small man. Um, as you look back to Newman, he's already got the jar of mayonnaise out. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't eat this time. What he's going to do instead is he's going to dip the pizza in the jar of mayonnaise. He's not going to spread the mayonnaise on the pizza. And it's just, it's, it's just, it's just the end of it. And Why is that like, worse? He's just gonna, Why is that worse? He's going to take a little bit of a nibble from it. Um, I like to think it enhances the flavor. Um, mayonnaise, I've never tried it on pizza, but now I want to. Because uh, I feel like it'd be quite nice. Depending, especially depending what you, if what you put on it. Like if you got a, like a, um, like a sweet chili mayo or like a peppered mayo with some chicken on a pizza. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> that would actually be quite nice. 
I reckon. So. Yeah, this is a chicken pizza, by the way, so it goes well. Yeah, it goes down nicely. In fact, let's find out how nicely it went down with a D4, because that's my food rating. That. <laughs> this is as good as the mayo broth that Newman made <laughs> in that one mayonnaise episode. <laughs> this is oh, as dear. good as that. Um. <laughs> I'd just like to state for the record um, that there are certain people, certain guest, uh, guest stars in our podcast that are filthy traitors. I'm looking at you, Mitch. That have not seen up to that episode? Is that what you're referring to? Or... No, I'm referring to, um, to certain people also being mayonnaise traitors. Uh, are right. you on the uh, on the light side? <laughs> so, um, yeah, as as you finish up your meal uh, and uh, yeah, uh, have your conversations with the fellowship, uh, that I believe is where we're going to go to break. So, um, sorry to end it on a gross yeah. note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're uh, not sorry at all, are you? I'm not, no. Uh, I just feel like it needed to be said. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Sorry about uh, the mayonnaise. Sorry for listening. <laughs> Bye, guys. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> we will see, see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>